In this video, we're going to talk about percent yield. We're going to solve a sample problem. This is the problem we're going to solve. It says propane undergoes a combustion reaction according to the following balanced chemical equation, which you can see right below. It says if 14.3 grams of propane reacts with an excess of oxygen, what is the theoretical yield of water that will be produced from this reaction? And then it goes on to say if 15.7 grams of water was actually produced, what is the percent yield from this reaction? Percent yield is a calculation that we do in chemistry to compare how much was actually produced in a chemical reaction uh, to what was theoretically supposed to be produced. Now in any chemical reaction, we'll never actually make the theoretical amount. There's always going to be some room for error and some contaminants and different things that are not going to give us a theoretical yield. So here's the equation we use to calculate percent yield. We take the actual yield, what was actually produced, and we divide that by the theoretical yield. Now, theoretical yield we always have to calculate based on the amount of the reactants that we're using. In this case, it's 14.3 grams of propane. So we'll use that to calculate the amount of H2O. So again, theoretical, we calculate. Actual is always given in the problem. In this case, it says... 15.7 grams of water was actually produced. Now you do this type of calculation all the time. If you think about the last test you took, let's just say it was out of 50 questions. Now theoretically, you were hoping to get 50 out of 50 correct. Let's say that you only got 50 or 25 questions correct. What percentage did you get on this test? Well, you got 50 percent. So it works the exact same way as that. We look at the theoretical, what were we expecting versus what we actually got. So let's solve this problem using this equation. So first thing I have to do is calculate the theoretical yield and I'm going to use the amount of propane here that I started with. So we have 14.3 grams of propane. It's reacting with an excess of oxygen. It just means that we have lots of oxygen so we don't have to worry about oxygen. I'm just going to take this amount I'm going to find out how much water would be produced. First thing I have to do is I have to convert this into moles. So propane has a molar mass uh, of 44 grams per mole. So I'm just dividing by the molar mass. I'm going to multiply this by the recipe, the ratio from the recipe that says that there's four times as much water as there is propane. So it's a four to one ratio. So four waters for every one propane. And then last thing I'll do is I'll convert it to grams of water. So I look up the molar mass of water and oxygen on the periodic table weighs 16. Each of those hydrogens weighs 18, so that's 18 grams per mole. And we get 23.4 grams of water. Now this is my theoretical yield. This is what I was expecting to actually produce. So that goes right here on the bottom of that equation. The actual yield, again, that always comes from the problem. That's going to be given to you in the problem. So let's go ahead and solve for the percent yield. So I take the actual yield and the theoretical yield divide those two times by 100 and I get 67 percent. So this reaction uh, went with a 67 percent yield and that is percent yield.